Hey everyone, Gretchen Wegner here, and I am sitting at my desk, and um, I'm having such a hard time getting started with my work. Let's see, the time is now, it's almost noon, it's almost noon, and I've gotten very little done today. And you know, I'm thinking about my a client of mine who I checked in with yesterday, she's in her final exam week. And she said that on Saturday she just sat at her computer and kind of stared at a blank screen for hours on end. And I kind of feel like I'm in the same state. So first thing, I want to just let students know, like, you are not alone. It's not like you are some freak that you can't make yourself sit down and get to work. It's um, that this is a really natural part of the human condition. And I wanted to share all of the different ways that I um, have tried to get myself to get busy. So number one is I lit a candle. Here, I'll show you. <laughs> you can't quite see it lit. Can you see it lit? There you go. <laughs> um, that always helps me because there's some movement, you know, by the candle flame, I feel less alone. I also got out um, a notebook of mine that has a bunch of to-do things um, in it. And uh, let's see, what else did I do? Oh, um, you can't see right now, but my, my computer is right here. Actually, I'll turn this just for a second so you can see there's the computer. <laughs> and I, um, I got on Facebook, actually I was wasting time on Facebook. So I, I got into a group on Facebook that is a group of colleagues and I told them that I need some support um, and to, can anyone do what we call a power hour with me? And actually, about half an hour after I posted that, someone texted me on Skype saying, hey, Gretchen, what's going on? Why are you stuck? So I got to text with her a little bit. Um, I also uh, got out my whiteboard, and I made a, um, a list of the things that, the first things that I need to do. Um, instead of calling it a to-do list, I called this, yes, I can, trying to inspire myself. And I wrote that I need to process my notes from my parent, parent meetings. And when I'm done with making this video, I'll make a list here of the specific things I need to do. And then I need to make my cash flow projections. I need to, anyway, these are all the things I need to do. And I'm going to, um, I left space so I can put the specific action items. Um, as you know, some of you know from my work, I like to do what I call verborizing. So this isn't a good list yet because there aren't strong, actionable things on there, but I will add those under, underneath. Um, oh, I got out my iPhone um, and it's ready to turn on as soon as I'm done here, um, a, a favorite Christmas Pandora station. Um, so I think I have put enough things into practice. Oh, and I'm making this video. And one of the reasons I'm making this video is because I get really inspired whenever I talk to you guys. And so I thought maybe that sense of inspiration, you can see my cheeks are a little flushed because I'm having a good time because <laughs> I know that you're going to, you're going to be watching this sometime in the next six months. And, um, all of these things are helping me slowly incrementally get into some action. So, um, I hope that some of these ideas help you. I would love to hear about what your little tricks are that you try. And I really want to note, like I have like seven tricks I put into action right now, not just one, but seven tricks. So I'm super curious to hear what your tricks might be. And I'd love for you to comment on the blog post. Um, and I will, I'll see you in the next video. Bye folks.